welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are diving into the G.I. Joe classified Cobra Infantry Trooper. Um, or caught this on pre-order on Amazon and was able to get it. It shipped. I'm so happy to finally have a Cobra Trooper here for uh, Cobra Commander to boss around. Um, as you know, this line has been uh, interesting. It's been kind of difficult to collect. It's been hard to find in a lot of places. Um, this guy is currently shipping out with orders of, uh, of Zartan as well. Missed that one. Um, but yeah, so let's take a, a quick look at the packaging. As you know, each um, G.I. Joe package is, uh, is designed by a different artist. So we have some really, uh, really great art here of the infantry trooper um, you know, on, the, on the side as well. And of course, for those who are mint, mint on card or, uh, or mint, mint in box collectors, um, you get a nice big window here where you can see your Cobra Trooper along with all of his accessories. Um, and of course, you have the removable helmet so that if you are army building, you can you know have some variation in their configuration there. Um, this is number 24. I can't believe we're all the way up to 24 of these already, Cobra Infantry. Um, so yeah, let's let's flip it around to the other view and let's take a closer look at the G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Infantry Trooper. Cobra Attack! All right, so here we go. Here we have the, uh, the Cobra Infantry Trooper. Um, this thing is, is awesome. I already have him completely kitted out in his, uh, in his gear here. Um, so let's let's go over his accessories super quick uh, before we get into paint and detail. So we get a um, a full uh, blaster kind of rifle. We get two different places to peg it into in the back as well as a place up top here. Um, again, you know, all of their back accessories are cross compatible across the board. So if you have any of the other um, figures that have back accessories, backpacks, anything like that, um, they all are cross compatible. We get two identical blasters uh, for, you know, handgun here. And they both fit into the, the molded holsters, so you get one on the back here as well as uh, one on the front. So wherever you choose to, um, to put that blaster, you can. I'm going to leave mine in the back here. And then you get a dagger. And of course, he is able to hold all of these accessories um, without problem. Uh, you know, he can you know, hold multiple ones, you know, however, however you, you see fit. So again, you know, he can carry his entire loadout. And then the last accessory we have here, uh, is his helmet. So the helmet does come off, uh, come off. There's no peg system or anything to hold the helmet on. Um, however, uh, it does fit just really well on his head, you know, just kind of squeezes on there. Looks great. Um, and he looks great with or without the helmet. So let's leave the helmet on for right now. And we'll put his his dagger back here. Um, so let's go over the paint and detail and articulation. So the detail is fantastic, as has been the case with um you know with all of these figures so far. The wrinkles in the pants, the wrinkles in the uh, the, the different textures, um, the use of different kinds of paint, you know, to give give that kind of texture throughout uh, the armor, everything, um, you know, down to the the little sculpting on. The, um, the backs of the hands here, uh, the, the Cobra logo is there. Um, the eyes, he looks angry. He looks super angry, um, which is awesome. Uh, you know, it's, it's, just, it's, a, it's a really good look. Um, of course, the embossed Cobra logo on his chest, all the different buckles, all the different straps, everything has texture, everything is, uh, is painted really well. I'm not seeing any blemishes or mistakes anywhere. Um, we do get the two peg holes on the bottom as well. Um, the, into the articulation, so uh, he does have that double articulation. He has movement here at the neck as well as the head, so you know he can look down pretty far, and even with the helmet on, can look up substantially. We do get you know the side to side as well as the turn there. Um, the vest does not come off, but it doesn't hinder any of the movement. So we do have butterfly joints. Um, at the uh, at the the shoulders there, and you can see the butterfly joints doing exactly what they're supposed to do, getting him some really great movement back there on the arms. You know, if you're doing an airdrop or something, right? Um, and then we do have the bicep swivel, a separate bicep swivel. We have a double jointed elbow, which gets you past that 45 degree mark, which is great. 
Um, and then we do have uh, at the the hands we have the the, the normal uh, you know swivel. And then what I love any any character that has to hold a uh, a weapon a, a projectile weapon, so any type of gun or blaster, um, we do get the rotation up and down as opposed to in and out, which is which is necessary. Really good for for pointing and for photography and whatnot. Um, in terms of crunch, not much going on here. Um, it looks like there is something sculpted on the inside there, and I'm sure if you really really wanted to. You could probably pry this vest off and see what he's working with under there. But, um, you know, I'm I'm not going to be doing that because my fear is that I'll never get this sucker back on. But it does feel like there is a an ab crunch under there. For those of you that feel adventurous and want to get the vest off, um, you know, you'll probably get that. But he does swivel at the waist for sure, as you can see. And then his legs have the um, what we've seen so far those those drop hips, so you know you can you can pull down on the hip and get um, some extra movement out of it that way. Uh, we do get the uh, the upper thigh swivel. We get the double jointed knee. We get a hidden calf swivel there at the top of the boot. Love that. And then we get your your standard up down and swivel there. So you know very simply this guy can get into poses uh you know i was playing with him for a second before i started the video here but you know real quick you know if we just kind of put him in a normal let's see if we can get him in a quick walk here um there you go and then he's got he's got his walk he's got his walk on order there um which is great so let's compare this figure to a couple of other figures from the gi joe line so first of all let's let's see how he looks um, next to Snake Eyes, see it looks looks fantastic. And then of course, um, you know you wouldn't be able to have your Cobra Trooper without Cobra Commander bossing him around. So there you go. There he is next to uh, Cobra Commander again. Looks fantastic. You know, um, giving him his marching orders. Let's pull Snake Eyes out. Here he is next to. So what is still. So far, my favorite uh, G.I. Joe classified figure, the the prophet director himself. Um, so again, looks fantastic. Uh, you know, you can you're really starting to build out a Cobra team here, which is which is great. So let's pull these guys out and let's compare him real quick with some other figures from some other lines. So here he is with fellow Hasbro uh, Marvel Legends. This is the the Hand Ninja from the Stilt Man Build a Figure Wave. Here he is next to one of my favorite figures of 2021 so far. We have, here he is next to Plunderlings Grotto. And then just for the heck of it, let's pull these two out. Here he is next to another one of my favorite figures of the year so far. Hasn't been on camera yet. This is the first time you'll see him on, on our camera. But here he is next to <laughs> Kickstarter Spawn. Um, yeah, man. So this is a really great figure. Uh, really happy with it. Um, they did a great job, uh, capturing the essence of, you know, of, uh, a GI Joe, uh, Cobra, Cobra soldier here. So, um, can't wait to get him, uh, some extra pictures. So with that, let's flip it around and let's wrap it up. All right, so of course, as we're familiar with at this point, these figures are awesome. Um, you know, as you saw in the, the, the box there, uh, you know, everything ports on, everything fits into everything. Um, this is a great figure. Uh, for those of you that are army building, I'm sure you're going to be super, super pleased with these and all the things that you can do with them. I cannot wait to see the pictures um, that you guys post. This video will be going up Wednesday, um, the day before kind of the kickoff of the Pulse PulseCon Fan Fest 2021. Um, so really excited to see what the team uh, at Hasbro, the GI Joe team, Lenny and company have planned for us with, uh, with reveals. Um, hopefully we see a lot more uh, in the way of the GI Joe classified line because it is awesome. Um, again, not a completionist with this line. I am definitely cherry picking my characters, but boy, am I glad I cherry picked this one. 
Um, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so wait, that way you don't miss videos like this while you're down there. Hit that bell icon so that way you get a notification when we post a new video. Uh, while you're subscribing to things, make sure you're following us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter where we're constantly posting toy news, toy photography, uh, deals, all of that good stuff. Uh, we're constantly posting links where you can grab toys like this. Um, and then, uh, and of course the podcast, right? So where it all started, the Adventures in Collecting podcast, we are, we have a new episode every Monday. So make sure that, uh, you subscribe wherever you listen. You can find us simply by searching Adventures in Collecting, wherever you find podcasts. Or you can hit the link in the description below, which will take you to our website and you'll find all the links to all of the things that I just mentioned. Uh, make sure you stick around after the fade for some fun shots here of, uh, of the, the Cobra Infantry Trooper. And as always... Until next time.